Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to make a quick video to talk about what happened with TradingView banning my indicator a second time. The first time it happened because I had put information about my YouTube channel on the indicator, which was a violation of their rules. So they took it down. I totally understood. I made sure I'd removed anything about my channel from the indicator. And I also made sure it had proper licensing information because I did borrow code from other indicators in order to put uh, some of the indicator together, not everything, but a, um, a, a good portion of it, especially the SMC concepts. But anyway, they banned it again. And it seems like it's just because I have too much packed into one indicator. And apparently, I guess because they make money off of ensuring that people have to use multiple indicators, they're giving me a hard time about it. So rather than continuing to fight them, I just want to do a video to show you how you can still go about using the indicator. And then I'll also show you after I show you how to put in the indicator manually, I'll also show you how to use a combination of indicators in case you don't want to copy the code manually. But what I'm going to do is put a link in the description that will bring you to this page. And this is all the code for the indicator. And this is actually in GitHub. It's a public site if you're not familiar with it. It's something us developers use to for code versioning and collaboration and CICD and things like that. But anyway, so if you just copy all 1400 lines of code, and so we'll scroll down all the way here as we copy this. And so copy, and we take that into trading view. And as you can see here, here's the message of it getting banned again. This is the second time it happens. And I don't know really know what to do about it at this point. So uh, this is why I'm doing this video because a lot I've gotten a lot of great feedback about this indicator. It is it's giving a lot of people the same success success that it's given me, and I really want to share this with everyone. And so this is the only way I can think about of how to do it now. So let me close this out, and if we go to on any of your tabs, you can go to Pine Editor. And I already have code in here for scripts I've made, and if you do have code in there and it, and you already have something up, I recommend just naming this something else. So we'll call this Fatty Trades Indicator, so you don't overwrite the code you have. And uh, so once once you save that, you just paste the code in, and you have it there, and then you can go about saving it. And you can you can again you can set the name to whatever you want. And then you can even click here to add the indicator to your chart. And then it will work exactly like I talked about in the other video. Now, let's say you're not comfortable with copying the code for whatever reason, or you don't want to do that. A couple other options that exist are to, you can go into the indicators, we search convert ETF to futures index. You'll see, I do have my original indicator up. And this is the indicator that just did the level conversions without the smart money concepts. So you have all that stuff in there. And so you can, you can copy this stuff in if you'd like, and you can change the line styles and things like that for this indicator. And then if we go to indicators in here, so you can use Sonar Lab smart money concepts, which I, I like a lot, or you can use Lux Algo, which is a free version of it. It doesn't do as much as the sonar lab suite but it is still very good you can put the smart money concepts in there and you do have to reconfigure this to make it match what i was doing in my indicator uh, which if we scroll down you want to make sure you include swing order blocks i like bumping these numbers up you want to make sure you adjust the colors to something you're comfortable with uh, and you can see it's it's all the same stuff because i did borrow a lot of the code from them and you, you want to make sure you turn on these highs and lows. In my opinion, you don't have to. You also want to make sure you show fair value gaps and adjust the colors there and extend the fair value gap. So that will give you the next set that you need on there. And then, of course, the last one is going to be the free Sonar Labs indicator. And so that's the multi time frame support and resistance. And here to configure it the way mine was configured, you can go through and turn off current time frame, five minute and 15 minute. You can adjust the colors if you like and hit okay. And then using these three indicators combined, you will have the same exact effect as my one indicator. But again, if you're on the free trading view version and you want to save indicator space, then I recommend grabbing the code for my one and popping it in there. And that will save yourself some time or excuse me, some, uh, some indicators. That way you have two additional indicators you can insert in there, which 
should be volume and then maybe a free volume profile since without paying for trading view you can't get the premium volume pro profiles but there's a lot of free alternatives out there that work very well so anyway i hope you found this helpful uh i don't think i'm going to be able to get around these trading view restrictions so it is what it is at this point but i still you know if you haven't given my indicator a try or already downloaded it it's not inaccessible to you at this point so hopefully you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.